Vince and I have had a chance to perform this music in different places in the world, mostly of course in the United States, and it's, this band sounds really quite incredible, so thank you. So this next piece takes us to two amazing composers, people that um, we respect so much. They're both still alive. They wrote this piece of music in 1982, 1983. Um, speaking of Chico Buarque de Holanda, Chico Buarque and Edu Lobo, two master, master songwriters. Chico Buarque is a great samba composer, but also a great intellectual and, and poet. And Edu Lobo is just a great, um, super melodic, beautiful, lyrical composer. And together they created a, a, a sort of a show, a musical show in 1983 called O Grande Circo Mystico, the Great Mystic Circus, or Mystical Circus. And it was really a circus. It had trapeze, it had dance, it had theater, it had music. And it was, you know, just a, a, a troupe of artists together. And it told the story of these people who lived in the circus and who worked in the circus and the people who came to the circus. And basically, again, sort of this idea of metaphor, telling about Brazil and, and the stories of Brazil. And in the story, the aristocrat, uh, this rich man, goes to see the circus and falls in love with the dancer who's, you know, hanging from the trapeze. And her name was Agnes, but they didn't like the name Agnes, so they changed it to Beatrice. So it's just something I read and found interesting. But it was more than that. But Shikawaki wanted to be inspired by something in literature. So he goes to the Divine Comedy, he goes to the Inferno of Dante, one of the three books, and he goes and follows the story of Virgil who, you know, goes, has to go all the way from hell and, and Beatrice helps him come out from hell back to heaven, you know, the nine stages and all that. So it's inspired by that. And the way Chico Buarque wrote the lyrics is from the point of view as this melody is ascending and the melody keeps going up and up and up. Uh, the, the character asks questions. Every line that I sing is a question. And it's a question about the mysterious Beatrice. Who is Beatrice? Who is this dancer who hangs from the lines? And is she lonely? Is she sad? Is her face a painting? Is she made of porcelain? Is she made of ether? Who is she? And we are left with all these questions, unanswered questions at the end about Beatrice. This is Beatrice. Yeah. 